Welcome back to Enshrouded. This is going to be our last video from the Gameplay Pillar series, so let's dive right into survival and exploration. As you begin your adventure in the world of Enshrouded, you will need to survive in the wilderness amidst the unknown. To do so, you will need to gather resources such as rocks, plants and logs, honing your crafting skills to create essential items for your daily endeavors. Your very first task is to establish an Altar of the Flame, claiming your base and the humble beginnings of your future castle. Well, it starts as a hut, but let's dream big. Venturing into the woodlands to gather logs might seem quite easy at first. You will need to chop down some trees, gather logs, but in the process, you must watch out for the lively wildlife. They won't be impressed by your bare fists. The best solution right now is to run away and craft yourself some basic gear, like a sturdy shield, trusty wooden club, and come back for some action. You can now defeat the wolves, gather experience, loot resources, and some raw food. Now, building a first basic shelter is the next important step for survival. Use a workbench to craft a construction hammer and some building blocks. If you want to learn more about building and terraforming and enshrouded, you can check out the video available in the top right corner of your screen or find the link in the description down below. As we finish the construction of our very first cozy hut, in order to rest, we must make sure to craft a... hmm... not so comfy bed from the workbench. You can place it inside and after a hot days of work, a good night's sleep is in order. This will give you a rested buff. Now, the real adventure begins. Your first quest, finding the blacksmith. There is a bridge that would get us to the vault where we might find the blacksmith, but unfortunately it's been destroyed, so we need to go through the fog in order to reach the other side. The shroud has engulfed all of the world and we only have limited time to survive within it until we die, so we have to resurface quickly enough before our time runs out. The remaining time can be seen on the new hot element below our compass. As you are in the shroud, keep an eye on the timer. Your protection against the fog won't last forever. Find the hourglass capsules to extend your exploration time and discover secrets hidden within the shroud. As we approach our quest location, stealth is your ally when approaching enemy camps. You may take a different approach at first, but remember, one of the best ways is to sneak around, avoid detection and surprise your enemies with an attack from behind for extra damage. You have conquered your opponents, gathered loot and gained experience. Our next step is to unlock the secrets of the ancient vault. And as a reward, we will be able to set the blacksmith free to join our ranks. We can now teleport back to our cozy home by using the map and fast travel. After we teleport, it would be the perfect time to expand our house and make sure we have enough space for our NPCs and crafting stations. Now, we have to make sure to give the blacksmith a sheltered spot. By giving a roof over your blacksmith's head, you will be able to unlock more crafting recipes. Now, let's upgrade the armor. One of the very first armors that you will be able to unlock is the very fashionable fur armor. Let's go into the woods for some hunting. Hunting becomes an exhilarating challenge. Nothing screams adventure like wielding a bow. Sneak up on those speedy animals and aim for the head for the critical shots. As you kill the wildlife, you will be able to collect necessary resources, such as animal fur, raw food and bones. Now, we need to find or craft a campfire to unleash our culinary skills and cook up a feast of delicious foods. When you cook food, you have to be careful not to overcook it, otherwise you will be eating charcoal for days, which I can't imagine is good for you. This is just a basic way to prepare food while you're out on adventures. You will be able to cook more advanced recipes at home. Now, the perks. Check your status tab in the character menu to see what effects different types of food have on you. You can also see if you are well rested or if there are any negative effects such as being cold or poison for example. Our next quest is to explore the elixir well. Let's use our glider to get there quickly. Now, as you've been leveling up through the game, you will be unlocking skill points to customize your character as you please. No restrictions here. Mix and match classes and dive into endless fun and remember, you can respect later, so feel free to experiment. Let's start with unlocking the evasion attack. Combining a glider approach towards your enemies with an evasion attack can be extremely helpful with not losing any momentum. This will let you unleash a devastating attack upon landing. As an example, you can take a high position by one of the elixir's walls, scout around to see where the enemies are, and once you are ready, drop in on them to unleash a devastating attack.
on the approach of the well entrance. Those mysterious return beacons are your saving grace. Replenish your time in the shroud and revive next to one if the worst happens. Let's climb down and explore the depths of the elixir well. With bravery and skill, you will face a daunting boss in the well. To do that, you can use different weapons such as swords, axes, and for ranged combat, bows, staffs, and wands. Remember, mixing and matching any weapon is possible. As you defeat the boss, a legendary axe, hammer, or sword awaits you, enabling you to destroy the shroud root. This means that the fog will go away temporarily, but will reappear again so that if the players from your party want to do the quest again, they can. Back at home, we can focus again on crafting and mastering. With more experience and materials, we can now unlock a forge and charcoal kiln. First of all, let's start with a charcoal kiln. You will need coal in order to start producing metal sheets at the forge. Now, let's set up the forge to craft metal sheets, which will allow you to unlock a new set of tools and new armor. So, prepare yourself. More exhilarating quests and adventures await you in the mysterious world of Enshrouded. Thank you for watching. Once again, you can wishlist Enshrouded now on Steam. To be up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as comment in the section down below what you're looking forward to. We'll see you in the next one.